Okay, so my dumbass didn't made sure that the microphone was even properly plugged in. So I'm gonna explain what I was gonna say in this sort of blog video. Basically, I'm um, at Roman Street near Avoba Boulevard where a infamous video gone viral of people splashing water onto commuters and a lot of people in the internet are getting angry about this and a lot of drama has been happening recently because of this issue. Now to give some context, every June 24, the city of San Juan celebrates the birth of Saint John the Baptist who baptized Jesus Christ. This festival is meant to bless people, reminding them of their baptizing and bringing God's blessings. Now this is all good and all if it was placed in a designated area where people can voluntarily participate in the event and have fun. Unfortunately however, San Juan City is a pretty busy city. The Aurora Boulevard, many businesses and traffic are located. Being a busy street, most of the time the people passing by are just commuting to their jobs. Unfortunately, these people are often stalled or even splashed with water by San Juan residents often damaging paperwork or electronics. And I think this is where I'd say some of the criticisms towards the festival can be justified because this whole festival can turn from a blessing from God into little bad luck. The meaning of festival is a day of celebration. I don't think getting your phone damaged by water is some sort of celebratory thing. Now I don't want to go into the topic of religion in this video. Simply put, this is such a really bad way to celebrate something important. I mean, it's quite fitting how they celebrate in the way that we often get baptized, we just do, no questions asked. And you think that the way most should celebrate their baptizing is by going to church and actually being sprayed by actual holy water. But no, no, you get sprayed by a bunch of hooligans jumping on your car and potentially even damaging it. And you might be saying, this is just a really bad example of a tradition being taken too far. And I would say that too, if a fucking fire truck host wasn't present there, meaning actual reasonable people were involved in this hooligan behavior. A festival is usually situated in a designated area where the fun can actually be commenced. So this tradition being gone too far into running up into people's cars and spraying people just passing by, this tradition has been warped into something shit. Well you might be saying, at least someone didn't die from this, nobody was recorded slipping from the wet road and hitting their head and dying. Well someone has died because of this tradition. In 2014, a day before the festival, a lawyer was held hostage by a security guard. Now even though the guard's demands were pretty weird, he was in contact with his close relatives and was about to peacefully surrender himself, when out of nowhere, sirens started blaring. Now the guard thought that it was a SWAT team that will forcefully subdue him, so out of fear, he killed the lawyer, then proceeded to kill himself. If you're wondering what was that siren, it was a fire truck, informing people that the event was commencing. Talk about bad luck. Like this stuff just looks like a zombie apocalypse, just absolute classless behavior. And you can literally see their actions are making fucking traffic. Like honestly, with all this amount of water, are they not concerned with plasma? I want you all to put yourselves in these people's shoes because case 1, you're the wetter. You have a bucket, you're splashing people with water, you're having fun. Case 2, you're someone trying to get to your destination. You have your bag, now it's wet. It has your phone and laptop. But these aren't good with water, now they are broken and wet. Now your clothes are wet. You try to eat something in a restaurant but your clothes are wet. Now the fucking seat is wet. Now you're gonna eat your food while you have swamp ass. Is that fucking fun? Now in the same video that went viral, a man was featured sticking his tongue out. Many called him Boy Dilla. And he is sort of the mascot behind the tradition now regularly using his imagery to recall criticisms towards this tradition. His real name is Lexter Castro and he started doubling down on criticisms, stating that you should just not pass by in the city when it's June 24. Many people started suggesting he should just be dropped on the West Philippine Sea and use his toy gun to spray water the coast guard. I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty good idea. After his rise into popularity for speaking out, his address and name was leaked, resulting in people sending over fake deliveries to his home. Which is a pretty scummy thing to do, even when it is towards another scum. But him doubling down and becoming some sort of villain in the eye of the public to just earn a bit of money from his popularity will probably not work out for him. Everyone that will turn into his account are just people looking to check on what kind of stupid shit he did, which does not pan out too well in the long run. 
Fortunately for him, he was invited by the mayor of the city itself to basically give this idiot more attention and do nothing about any other actions against the people who were actually harming innocent people. Just do this press conference basically giving sympathy to the guy because he was getting all of this flag and it was just affecting him and his family. Like not even giving him sort of accountability against his actions. It's just like it's, it's like a little brother. It's, it's like a fucking mom forcing the other kid to apologize to his son because he was like punching him or something. Everything in this whole festival is just hypocritical. Moving on to Metro Manila is the Wada Wada Festival, where Filipinos get to experience this insane water ride. Oh my no. gosh. Would you do that? Does that hurt if it hits you in the head? Yeah. But it looks cool, water pretty. Yeah. You got to go back inside after that. <laughs> the most iconic character of the San Juan water coaster is this guy, Boy D. Luck, which he also represents the Philippines for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Oh! <laughs> If you owned one of those, give it to me. I want it.